so far, we have proved the undecidability of three languages, ATM using diagonalization technique, HALTM by reducing ATM to HALTM, similarly ETM, the language with machine descriptions of all Turing machines whose language is an empty set. Going forward, you can use any of these three undecidable problems to prove a certain language is undecidable using reductions. Let's look at the language of EQTM. The strings in this language are pairs of machine descriptions whose languages are equivalent. This should ring bells about the EQ DFA language where the strings are pairs of DFA descriptions. EQ DFA was proved to be a decidable language, but turns out EQ TM, which contains Turing machine pairs whose language is equivalent, is an undecidable language. To prove the undecidability of EQTM, let us reduce the ETM problem to EQTM. The technique will be the same. We assume a magical decider R exists for EQTM. Now, how do we build a decider S for ETM, which confidently tells whether a machine's language is an empty set or not? Here is how we do it. We can construct a Turing machine M1 that rejects every input string. Basically, the reject all Turing machine, we will use the machine description of this reject all Turing machine and the machine description M together and pass it to the decider R. If the decider R accepts, then the machine M's language should be an empty set because R just established equivalence between the reject all machine M1 and M. So I'll connect these two pins right there. If R rejects, then the machine M is not equivalent to reject all Turing machine. Hence, it should be accepting some strings for sure. So we can connect that pin from R with this pin on S. There you go. With the help of a decider for EQTM, we were able to build a decider for ETM, which was already proven as an undecidable language. Hence, the decider for EQTM should not exist.